Hello, hello, hey y'all, it's Steph, what's going on? So, coming off that big holiday yesterday, Iron Bowl Saturday in Alabama, you know that's a holiday for us, Alabama won, of course. So, today I'm going to do a short video on something that can help some of you who weren't able to get the epoxy oven, which I showed you all how to use that, um... Let me show you a picture of it. I also showed you all how to do the dominoes and the silicone molds in a regular countertop conventional oven. I use conventional because I don't have a convention oven. And here is a um, picture of my conventional oven. Now, you know, I do stuff for everybody. So, um, yeah, I know times are hard and you don't have $185 for that epoxy oven. You might not have the money for the a countertop oven, but you got cardboard boxes and aluminum foil. If you got that, you got it going on and a regular little um, electric heater. Now, this electric heater that I used, I got from uh, Walmart for 39 bucks. I use it in my um, in my garage. I'm in my garage. That's where my um, crafting room is. And it get pretty cold, so I've always had it in here. But I found out the way to use that with a cardboard box and aluminum foil to get these dominoes done. So I will caution you, as I say all the time, I am showing you how to make it. I am not going into the ins and outs of, you know, the which epoxy you're supposed to use and things of that nature, PPE and all that. I will tell you to use your PPE, but I also let you know that it's up to you to do that research on which epoxy is best for you, which ones you have reaction to or no reactions to, um, and things of that nature. I have did my due diligence, but just because a certain brand does not bother me does not mean that it doesn't bother you. So I will, again, caution you to do that research. I am doing the actual making of the stuff. I'm not... Um, really going into that part because it's a lot into it but i do caution you to do your due diligence look it up there's um groups on facebook there's google to do that information we just doing the <clears throat> we doing the dang on thing we making it so without further ado let me show you how to get this cardboard box ready and this gonna be really really quick so y'all ready Things you need, cardboard box big enough for the mold and aluminum foil. You're also going to need something to cut off one flap. I use an X-Acto knife. That's the flap that sits on the bottom. And I use heat tape to keep the aluminum foil down. I covered the whole inside of the box and used the heat tape to keep it in. This is me when I cut off that bottom flap. Just throw that away. Here is the finished product. Don't forget to put a piece of aluminum foil across the top to keep the heat from escaping. I have my products. Now I'm ready. So I pour my dominoes, give it a spritz of the 90% or above alcohol, slide it in the oven, and on this particular heater I use, I put it on high and non-rotating. I can constantly check, make sure the bubbles don't come, and check it out, make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. An hour and 30 minutes later, bam! First layer done on my dominoes. Now they are ready for the second layer. So yeah, that's it. That's all you got to do. So I will tell you what I found about this Um. I am going to tell you, I absolutely like this more than I do that epoxy oven, the um, one, the red one, the convection type. Um, I found that in that particular oven, because the space is so tight and the dominoes are not moving or anything, that sometimes on that top layer, when I do the different layers, that top layer tends to have bubbles um, 
air bubbles and holes. So what I have to do when I'm using that epoxy oven, when I take it out after that last um, layer is finished, what I tend to do is I have to use my torch. So after they're complete with that epoxy oven, if I bring it out and I see some bubbles on that, I take my torch and hit those bubbles again, then put them back in the oven for another 20 to 30 minutes to take the um, bubbles out. So I actually heat it up to make it kind of soft and liquidy again. But I did not have to do that with the cardboard box because I was able to go and look at the box, look in the box um, over and over. And I have absolutely no bubbles, no air bubbles in there or uh, anything. So I hope this helps. And for those of you who were like, Dang, I can't afford that oven. I'm going to look for it later. Get it after Christmas. Maybe I'll get it for Christmas. How about what? Just take one of them boxes, aluminum foil, or something to cut, cut off a flap, and that heat tape, and you good to go, baby. So, I'll see you on the next video. If you haven't already, I sometimes forget this. Please like my YouTube channel. Also, subscribe and follow so you'll be notified when I put new videos on. Also, if you have something that you want me to do, just drop a comment down there and I'll try my best to do it. So, happy crafting and I hope you all are having a great day. See you later.